I was taught in Bible school, leaders do everything they do on purpose. And if I'm going to leave a video up stating that I'm not going to be on social media until June, it should be a thought-provoking video because that's how I work. <laughs> I like to make people think. And God has called me to move in silence. That's why I'm not on social media till June. You can't blame my friends. I can't even blame my friends. Matter of fact, I had a dream the other day that shook me. The fear of God came on me and I was like, whoa, whoa, this is something between me and God. See, when I was called to preach, your calling, it came from God. God did not consult man or pastors or anybody, my family, even my own son. God did not consult anybody about my calling. It was between me and God. And when you look at this, 1 Corinthians 1, it says, God hath chosen. So when God calls somebody to be silent, separate yourself from everybody, it's because of the calling on your life. Is it comfortable? No. I want to talk to my friends every day just like you do. But when you have a calling on your life, God will separate you. God will put his hand on you. And he will equip you and send you. God hath chosen your calling. God is wiser than men. God is stronger than men. We preach Christ crucified. God chosen. According as it is written, He that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. No flesh shall glory. Amen. So everything you ever accomplish for God is for the glory of God. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. So it's okay if God says you need to be hidden because God has a plan. Move in silence. Move in silence. And the other thing I said was I'm going to go anywhere I want to go. No, I'm not. And with the fear of God, that dream was about that too. I will not be going anywhere I want to go. I will go where God tells me to go. I'm just not going to be sharing on social media my every move. Because God wants me to move in silence. Okay? 1 Corinthians 1, very powerful. Glory of God, labors with God. I know that there's only a few laborers. It's in the scriptures that there's only a few laborers. But Jesus said what? He said, pray! If it bothers you, I say this with love, if it bothers you that laborers are few, Jesus said he knows. Pray! Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers. Jesus will answer your prayer even if he has to call another woman. Okay, I was a single mom when God called me. I was running a business. But God called me. The calling of God. God is wiser. God is stronger. Your calling is important to God. You have to to fear the Lord and go where he tells you to go. You cannot listen to everybody else and what they think about your life. Move in silence. If you would like one of these books, this is the first time I've ever got to talk about all my books. So here they are, inspired by the Great Commission. One, two, three, four. Romance novel. Inspired by a while, blessed are the risk takers, challenges, and a women in ministry book. If you are interested, I will link below an Amazon link. Basically, you just type in Angela Cummings. And uh, hopefully, you'll find one of these, but I'll try to link. I will try to link. God's calling. God chooses. 
And the only one that's going to get the glory is God. To God be the glory. Matter of fact, he said, let everything you do be done for the glory of God. I will not share in his glory. I give God glory for everything he's done. Amen. And with that said, Lord willing, we'll see you in June.